This week, many counties and cities are warning you not to light your own fireworks. Yeah, still, there are a lot of fireworks shows set for the 4th of July, but we're now seeing a different kind of display in the sky in a lot of our cities and counties. King 5's Drew Andre here in the studio to explore this debate, the hot, contentious debate at Drew Fireworks or drones. Jake, it really is. Let's give you an example here. The city of Des Moines will be hosting a 4th of July drone show for the second time this year. They got rid of their annual fireworks show in an effort to be in more, more environmentally friendly, and it turns out they're not alone. Rockets red glare, the bombs bursting in air. Fireworks are intertwined with Independence Day. You know, you can hear them, you see them, you smell them, you feel them. But now more drones are infiltrating the skies. We've already seen it in Seattle, a drone show for MLB All-Star Weekend last year. And another spectacular display shared the sky with fireworks during New Year's at the Space Needle. Both shows created by Texas-based company Sky Elements Drones. Anything you want in the sky, you can put in the sky. Drone shows are growing in popularity because there's something new. Eliminate the risk of fires and don't pollute the air and nearby water with debris. Plus, they're quiet. It's a lot safer at the end of the day. I really do believe that there's always going to be a place for fireworks because it is such a unique experience. Ellen Webb builds traditional Japanese style ball shells and turn into this in the sky. She's also the president of the Northwest Pyrotechnic Association and says despite drones popularity, fireworks productions aren't seeing a decline in business because of drone shows. It's like comparing a painting versus a photograph. I mean, there's still art. They still have a place on the wall in the gallery, but they're just totally different animals. And Sky Elements agrees. We like to say that we're an alternative to fireworks, not necessarily a replacement. And in some cases, teammates. Fire. This Independence Day, Sky Elements will become the first company to legally fly fireworks from drones. And that same company is putting on the Des Moines Drone Show tomorrow. And over at Angle Lake and SeaTac, there'll be a drone show and a fireworks show there. So one of those examples of, of combining the two. Mm, yeah. So which show is more expensive for the city to put on? Well, so they're both expensive, but it's definitely the drone shows that are more expensive. Des Moines is spending about $90,000 for the drone show that, that they're putting on. So that gives you a bit of perspective. It really is a contentious debate. People who love the big booms, oh, as you mentioned, yeah. the bombs bursting in air. It's tough to move off of that. It's such an exhilarating I mean, The drones experience. are cool. It's a nice yeah. supplement to the fireworks, but the, it, you know, the idea of it replacing and, the fireworks. And that's what I learned. Maybe it's just not going to replace it. You know, people are always going to want both, but at least it's an alternative. Yeah, yeah. it is. Interesting. All right. Thanks, Drew. Happy 4th, everybody. You can text the keyword fireworks to 206-448-4545. We'll send you a full list of the 4th of July celebrations around the sound and where you cannot set off the fireworks.